Okay, software developer salary is how much? Whoa, not too shabby at all. Let's look at what it takes to learn this stuff. I was head of the AV department in high school. I'm a pretty techie guy. Leads, coordinates, performs requirements, solicitation by outlining the system's functionality and something, the system? Develops reasonable software components and performs developers testing for integration into larger systems in accordance with the projects that, oh my god, my head hurts. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com slash tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. Welcome back, XDA Crowd. My name is Jason. Today we speak to Doug Calhoun, a graduate of Dev Bootcamp, and he loved the hacker school so much he went on to co found Hack Reactor. But what's most important is that he is a lot like the guy in the beginning. He was a techie, he worked tech support at SurveyMonkey, but he noticed that the developers he worked with were the ones having all the fun. So he decided he would teach himself. That didn't go over so well. This is where Doug had to work through his own dip. If you watched yesterday's show, you know what I'm talking about when I say the dip, but he worked through it. He found the environment that worked for him. For him, it was a hacker school that really uh, was to his benefit. But we talk about how he earned $80,000 out of the gate. Uh, learning styles for older folks like us who've been at a school for a long time. The benefits and limits of online resources like Stack Overflow. And he's a really inspiring guy. We talked for over an hour. This is just a snippet of it. If you're grateful for uh, his interview, please like and subscribe. Here we go. Uh, you know, all good, all good programmers, even even the expert programmers, uh, use Stack Overflow and use online resources. Um, I, at that point, in where I was in my sort of journey of discovery here, I wasn't sort of well versed enough to know where to look for resources or what sort of resources would be uh, applicable. And also, I would sort of find answers without learning why they work. So I'd, I'd be able to find a piece of code that I could plug in and. You know, uh, it's working, but I wouldn't really understand why that was working, or or what I had even done really. Um, and and I would just say, oh, I guess that worked for some reason. Move on. Uh, when you have a classroom environment; it, it's much better. You have mentors there. You can ask questions and really understand things at a deep level, so that next time you face a similar problem, you don't say, oh, where's that magic piece of code that I found? You say, oh, now I understand what's happening here at the basic level, and I, and I can build my own solution. I was there at SurveyMonkey, and I was working in tech support, uh, and, and I, you know, was wrote, and it was, you know, answering the same dozen questions over and over again, and I saw the developers, uh, you know, having all this fun building systems and, and, and playing with code and, and doing magic on their keyboards, and, and I really wanted to be a part of that, and uh, so I, tr I tried really hard to, to shift into that more technical role and uh, the, the sort of powers that be weren't having any of it. They said this isn't like a, you know, a cost effective business decision to teach you this stuff. And I said, you know, maybe I can teach myself. And so I, I quit. I spent uh, five months, entire summer in my bedroom trying to teach myself out of textbooks and going page by page through and getting very frustrated uh, and, and, and getting stuck again and again on all these little points I didn't understand. I didn't have anyone to turn to. Uh, I didn't have uh, you know, I didn't know any other programmers. Everybody thought I was crazy, um, and and eventually I just got stuck so many times, and and I just felt like I wasn't building anywhere. I was I was reading and doing all these exercises in textbooks, and I felt like I wasn't getting you know anywhere, and I pretty much gave up and said, you know, this must not be for me. Uh, you know, I must not be smart enough to do this kind of magical coding stuff. And I went off to Southeast Asia, and I I was going to blow the last of my money on a plane ticket to Southeast Asia and go around. For a few months, and uh, you know, see see a little bit of the world, and then come back and get my um, you know boring old job back. And uh, somewhere in there, I got I was on Hacker News, and I, I saw this post from uh, Sharif Bache saying he was going to teach people to code at this thing called Dev Bootcamp. And and I applied, and we spoke on the phone, and, and you know, he said, "Well, I think you have a really strong background." And I said, "I, I do. <laughs> I don't feel like I have a strong background." And he said, "No, I think you'll be able to do this." And I said. 
I right, give it a try. So I spent sort of last of my money, bought a plane ticket back from Bangkok to San Francisco, um, and got in the classroom there and, and started working. Uh, you know, having uh, lectures every morning and and and, and sort of project based uh, learning throughout the day. Working in pairs with uh, other student programmers, having mentors around to help us get unstuck when there were things that we we were struggling with or, or weren't uh, sort of overcoming on our own. And, you know, all of a sudden it was started clicking, you know, I started figuring out how to do things and, and, and pieces were coming together. And by the end, I was walking into these technical interviews with these, uh, with these uh, developer jobs and people weren't blown away, but they were like, okay, yeah, I think we can work with this. You know, you have a base, baseline of knowledge uh, to, to, to be a part of our team and to contribute to the team and, and we'll continue to teach you as you work. So, uh, yeah, I got hired out of Dev Boot Camp and and started and, and sure enough I was getting paid to learn which was amazing and, and actually enjoying going in and feeling like I was growing sort of stronger and stronger every day in a skill that you know I knew I was going to uh, use and enjoy and develop for the rest of my life so it was kind of a beautiful moment there beautiful uh, ending to the journey. Uh, I was making $80,000 in my first job at Dev Boot Camp that's more than double um, any any salary I'd ever made before which was amazing and this um, was other with people had a, this was with who? This was with Daily Coast. Daily, on- Daily Coast. Yeah, online, largest online liberal uh, blogging community. There was uh, one person who I, I won't name just because I don't know if she would <clears throat> agree to me naming her, but um, I think she came in very self-conscious. She was a math teacher. She didn't have any programming background really, but it was just something that sort of she had been uh, poking around with and kind of getting fascinated by, and she decided to kind of take a leap. And uh, she came in, and it was really hard for her. She felt, I think, you know, talking with her, that she was sort of constantly at the back end of the pack in terms of picking this stuff up um, and 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 feeling uh, sort of uh, not knowing if she was going to make it. But, you know, to her credit, she kept plugging away day after day, getting back out there and working, uh, working hard and, and just, you know, you know, some folks were finishing the the projects and flying ahead and adding all sorts of bells and whistles, and she kept plugging away, just getting getting everything working just at the basic level. And uh, she got to the end, and she got uh, she got a job at a very well respected consulting company uh, coming out. And now she, uh, like I said, is paid to paid to learn, and she's continuing on her journey. I I kind of jumped right in. I mean, I had a uh, it was sort of a total gut gut reaction um i you know here comes this guy out of nowhere you know through the through the wonders of the internet comes galloping a hero who says i'm gonna i'm gonna you know make all your dreams come true or i'm gonna teach you to code and 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 get you off on a, on a career in development and uh i thought you know this guy must be crazy and uh <clears throat> you know he's either a, a scam artist or or just like uh you know a dreamer or something but uh, i had the the video interview with him and we just had like a real heart to heart. He seemed like a very down to earth guy, and uh, you know, we had this interaction where I said, you know, I just I tried, struggled against, you know, trying to get myself in, you know, up to speed on programming to a point where I could really, uh, you know, get a job and things of that nature. And, and you know, I just didn't, I couldn't do it. And he's like, well, you know, that's fine. It sounds like you worked really hard and you just weren't working in the right ways. But we'll get you working in the right ways. So, so come on down. And you know, that was it. Like. Kind of s- sort of stared at. I you know, did a little googling on who he was and his background. And he seemed legit, and I said, "You know what? This is kind of a once in a lifetime thing." And then just sort of pulled the trigger on it. Bought the bought the plane ticket, slapped down my deposit to hold the place in the class, and just went and did it. Uh, sort of without without too much. Uh, that was a real gift. Restriction. That was a real gift, wasn't it? That was amazing. Yeah. Really did change your life. That, that's fantastic. I do for you.